I'm standing in Beijing. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fun Fancy Channel. Right now I'm standing in Beijing. If you haven't known me already, hi, my name is Fancy. I am a Thai expat who has been living in Shanghai, China. But now I am coming to Beijing for my vacation. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the top attractions of Beijing. Let's go to our first destination. Let's go! our first destination the forbidden city or Kukong well I already bought the ticket in advance because my colleagues told me that we should do so because this place is very popular please buy the ticket in advance So now we are inside. So for me, I think more or less it's like a palace. I'm not really good at history, but we have to be here. We are in Beijing. We cannot miss Google. This place is huge, but I'm still trying to find the most beautiful spot here. I'm not so sure. Like I see some beautiful spot in the photos. Let's see. I'm just walking. Follow the people. So guys, I think I just found a good spot here and I just got a new fan like Chinese traditional fan but in a really cute version I got it for 39 RMB and I think it's going to be a very good prop to take a photo with I got a pink one Most of the time when I travel, normally I always Okay Okay Well, there's like a lot of regulations going on Beijing is really conservative, like really conservative. There's a lot of security guard everywhere and they check a lot of stuff, like all the stuff in my bag. They always check the passport like everywhere I go. I don't know, I feel like it's a really strict city. I never find anywhere as strict as Beijing before.
This is outside Kukong, uh, outside the Forbidden City is a bag of meat. And here I would like to show off again my fan and I just got some several shots with it. I have a really strong craving for Beijing roasted duck right now and in front of the Forbidden City there's like a small alley where there are a bunch of Beijing roasted duck restaurant I don't have a really high expectation on the taste but we are in Beijing come on let's try it <coughs> I just got some snacks. I have always wondering how does it taste like? It is like a cotton candy. I'm debating with myself whether I should go for Beijing roasted duck like around here because it's more convenient or I should add a little bit more of my effort to find like one of the best place in Beijing like what do you think like here for example Beijing pie and roast duck is like right in front of me right here you see it's right here so seems like I can find it everywhere So I ended up walking to Beijing Roasted Duck but it's like one kilometer away. I'm pretty tired so I would like to just sit here maybe try some snack that I just bought for a while. <sighs> I'm just so obsessed with this fan. I'm really tired so let's just try this snack. I have seen this kind of cotton candy in many many cities of China but I never tried before. Let's try this. I think it's just like a cotton candy but it has like a really interesting texture. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So right now, I'm officially in Beijing Roasted Duck Restaurant. I found this restaurant in Tato Tianping. And they say, if the taste is not good, I can have it for free. And what is so funny is that I'm coming here sitting alone in this room. And then um, the waiter afraid that I'm going to be bored because I'm eating alone. So he's bringing this little box. Not so little, like quite big box. It's a Beijing box. He bring it to sit with me. He's in the cage looking at me right now, so it's a very creative way of, you know, treating customer, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at the box. I mean, he's looking at me. day two in Beijing and today is a very important day because I'm going to have one of my bucket list check today. We are heading to the Great Wall of China. So yeah, there are two ways for you to get from the city center of Beijing to Great Wall of China. The first way, the cheapest way, is to take a bus. But I'm not choosing this way because I'm going to go by high-speed train.
I'm currently on a rush because right now it's almost 12 and my high speed train departs from 12.30 and as I mentioned in my several videos, the high speed train is very punctual if it says 12.30, it's going to leave the station at 12.30 sharp here at the railway station so once you get in you can just look into this board it will show the summary of your train number and then your timing of departure and then the platform number so as you can see the first one is already my train that I'm going to take D6725 and it will leave the station at 12 30 so let me shortly explain how did I book my ticket. So normally when I travel inside China, I'm using trip.com application to book the high-speed train ticket. Everything is in English and the service is very reliable. You don't even need to print out the ticket or anything. You just need to bring your passport for the check-in in front of the railway station. That's it. As I say, there are two ways you can travel from Beijing city center to the Great Wall of China. The first way, the cheapest way, but it might take a lot more time is to take the bus. Another way, which is much faster and more convenient is to take the high-speed trains. If you want to take the high-speed train, I'm recommending you to travel from Metro to Qi Jumen, line number two. And then after that, you can just drop yourself off here at Beijing North Railway Station. And then after that, you can just take the high-speed train, which will only take you around 30 minutes to reach the Great Wall. Mm, this milk is pretty good. everyone with only 30 minute travel with the high speed train we are now at Bandaling Great Wall Railway Station and the weather is a lot colder than in the city so yeah just prepare your jacket but there are so many people like so 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 many people coming look at the flow of people currently I have no idea like where I have to walk to what I have to do next I still don't have the ticket or anything so I'm just going to follow the river flow of people and then let's see what should we do next So we are taking the table car definitely i'm not going to walk up because i have seen in the review that it's going to be very exhausted to just walking so i will take the cable car and right now the ticket with return ticket like go and return cost 140 rmb but for the single trip ticket it's 100 rmb so the lock is not on my side again they say the cable car is full even though i bought the ticket we cannot take the cable car anymore so we need to take this small train just to get up
So, to the Great Wall, are we ready? Oh well guys, suddenly, I don't know what happened, but my microphone just turned my voice into this huge echo. And the wind is so strong. <laughs> the wind is so strong. Okay, that doesn't really matter. I'm going to do a little bit of voice over. Okay, so we are now at the Great Wall. Everything in front of my eyes is super stunning. The wall is endless. I mean, you can look to the left, to the right, like as far as your eyes can look for. Like you can still see the Great Wall. So I don't really know like how far the wall is, like how many kilometers is the Great Wall is, but is gigantic is huge and the wheel is stunning but what is so funny about today is i just realized and found out the reason that i cannot get to the cable car doesn't mean that the cable car is full but due to that day we have a severe extreme weather it's like super super windy so the fact that i could flew out from the great wall seriously you can look at my hair and then you can tell so yeah if you want me to rate the great wall i think it's just something like a one-time experience i think it's worth going like something like once in a lifetime experience because great wall is one of the world's seven wonders and for a world traveler like me as somebody who's loved to travel so much i think it is one of the bucket lists that you really need to go for so yeah i still highly recommend it for you to go there regardless of i was extremely tired on that day and have to face with super strong wind on that day but i think it will be one of the most unforgettable experience of my life i will always have this kind of story to tell my friends my family about it and yeah it was such a great time so if you ask me will i visit the great wall again i would say probably not i think one time is enough but it is a very worthy experience so be there all right guys so i hope that you enjoy my beijing vlog video i didn't travel to a lot of places to be honest the reason that i'm visiting beijing that time i was just want to step on the great wall of china that was the one and only goal of this trip maybe this is not one of the most enjoyable trip of china that i have experienced but it's still going to be one of the most unforgettable trip of me traveling in china to be honest and yeah definitely i will need to say goodbye to you guys now i hope you enjoy the vlogs and of course with my little motto stay strong stay positive and i always love you thank you so much for watching goodbye guys bye